The flooding in Colorado, a break in the weather finally allowing rescue helicopters to get back in the air, hundreds still unaccounted for at this hour. And ABC's Ginger Z remains there in Colorado for us this morning. Good morning, Ginger. Hey, good morning, Robin. We know now that eight are dead, so that number has gone up. There's also people still trapped up in the mountains. Officials telling us that they're running low on food and water. And then there's neighborhoods like this where they're starting to see the big pockets of where that five feet of water came rushing through and the scars from this flood emerge. A nonstop buzz of helicopters over Colorado, each carrying the families rescued after nearly a week cut off from the world. Running out of firewood, running out of food. We basically had a, a, a waterway through our house. There's about a thousand residents that are up in the various isolated areas in need of evacuation. Rescuers airlifting at least a thousand people out of isolated communities like Pinewood Springs. It's a small community, but it's an important community. We've lived up there for forever and they'll fix our roads so that we can go back home. More than 11,000 people have been evacuated from their homes, including this couple, fortunate enough to be returning to their home, but now trudging there on foot. The only road in, undrivable. I've never seen anything like this. No. Overnight, the floodwaters hit Sterling, the largest city in northeastern Colorado. Now its streets are flowing with water, and there is no working sewer system. Back in Boulder, there's the bike path. Well, what used to be the bike path. A mounting list of communities now facing weeks or months of cleanup. But amidst it all, the kindness of strangers reigns. You're here to? Bring people into my house. Strangers? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> strangers. What, so you just, what, what came over you? Uh, well, I have, I'm on the high ground here in Longmont. So um, my house has not been affected at all by any of the, the floodwaters or anything. So and I have room for people, so why not? Guard the Red Cross still working to knock those names off the list of unaccounted for. And you can see behind me the piles of mud caked belongings that are sitting there that will be cleaned up. They're working very hard. And great news, I woke up with chapped lips and skin. That means the Colorado weather is back to dry, and it's going to stay that way this week.